welcome back to my channel, Princess Living Free. Um, I did notice that we're getting a lot of new people um, to our community, so welcome to all of you. And um, for those of you who are new, my name is Princess, and this is my channel where I pretty much talk about all things related to Ethiopia, moving to Ethiopia, um, just what it's like living here as a foreigner or diaspora person returning um, from a Western country. And um, also my husband is Ethiopian. We met about 13 years ago now, been married for 11, and we have three children. So welcome to all the new people. And even for those of you who've been around for a while, maybe you didn't hear that information before. So just wanted to give a little brief introduction. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, today's video is going to be about seven business ideas that you could do in Ethiopia. Um, I have done a video like this before. I think it was about a year and a half or two years ago. Uh, but somebody recently bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And they requested um, that I do an updated video of business ideas available um, that are possible in Ethiopia. So these ideas, I think, are, are really good. They're fresh. Um, I think they'll be very successful here. And a lot of them, um, when, you're, when you're listening to each idea, Think in terms of like a franchise, you know, if you brand your business really well and um, market it well, you can open up several locations and be very successful with each of these business ideas pretty much. So um, just keep that in mind as I'm going through the list that I'm not only talking about just one business, one location, you know, think bigger than that. But yeah, so here we go. Let's get into the list. So I wrote it down just so that I can um keep track of the ideas that i have and present them clearly to you so the first idea um, that i want to share with you guys is city bike rentals so um in addis ababa there used to be a mode of transportation via bajaj and so um, i'll put a picture or video here just in case you're not familiar with what that is but um it was very convenient to use the Bajaj to go short distances and it wasn't very expensive. And so, you know, it was great to have them. But at this time, Bajajes are no longer present in um, the city, in Addis Ababa, as far as I've seen. In the areas I've been around, I have not seen Bajajes in operation anymore. I don't know if it's a temporary thing or they're permanently banned, but they're not here. So, if somebody were able to figure out how to place bike rentals sorry planes going by um if somebody could figure out how to place bike rentals throughout the city and find a way to you know reduce theft or loss or damage um i think that would be so helpful for people who maybe don't have a car or do have a car and just don't want to use it to go a short distance you know as they're going throughout the city they can um, rent a bike so maybe for example there's an app um, that connects to a lock on the bike and then once you use the app and you pay you get a code that would unlock um, that specific bike at that location um, obviously the bikes would have to be like numbered by some system um, and then like maybe you'd have to pay a security deposit when you take it and then when you return the bike and lock it at its next location wherever you are going then you would get your whatever security deposit was that you paid back you know what i'm saying like i don't know if that idea would work perfectly the way i just described it but i think some of you guys out there are maybe smarter than me and more techie than me so um you can figure it out but i think that would be a really awesome idea for addis ababa um and maybe even other cities outside of addis if if you can you know branch out once you get the business model going and running because um, not only are Bajaj is not a thing anymore in the city, um, there are new bike lanes. So there are places now and sidewalks dedicated for bikes that people can use. So why not use them? And for those of you who are in a European country or in America, Canada or something, this idea is not going to be new to you because it already exists there. That's another thing I wanted to say too is that a lot of these business ideas um, are taken from things that I've seen abroad that exist in other places 
that could work well in Ethiopia. So that's the first one. Business number two. Um, so I'll just go ahead and say it. Business number two is electric car charging stations. So um, recently, the Ethiopian government has been promoting um, electric vehicles over the traditional um, gas-powered vehicles. And so I think there are certain incentives with the electric vehicles that are offered. I don't have the specifics on that, but I think that is, you know, what is in place right now as they're being pushed. And so um, for the future, we're going to need, you know, as more electric vehicles are on the road, we're going to need more charging stations, you know, because um, it's not always convenient to only just be able to charge at home. And so while it sounds like this might be a big task or, you know, a, a huge business, I think it could be relatively easy because a lot of people easily um, install the chargers in their homes. And so if you could set up like an area, you don't even need a whole lot of money, I, I would think, to do this. You can just make, you know, a regular cement um, structure that has like slots, maybe one, two, three, four open spaces where people can pull in and charge their car. Obviously, they have to pay to use it. Um, and you would just like install the chargers just like anybody would at their home maybe have a generator on site in case, you know, the power goes out in the area. And I think, I think you could really do well with this, like having an alternative to gas stations, you know, especially for people with electric vehicles and also hybrids who want to use um, their EV capabilities. Here's Joshi. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I do think that would be a very successful business in Ethiopia. Again, um, start with one, and then you could open up several charging stations. Um, and I don't know, like maybe different vehicles require different chargers, or maybe some of them can use the same. Um, but then, obviously, you would install different chargers as necessary if that was the case. But I definitely think it's something that is necessary and that will really take off here in the near future. Um, especially if you do it not only within the city, but obviously on highways and things um, between cities. So, yeah, definitely consider electric charging stations as another good business option in Ethiopia. Okay, number three. So I think um, Ethiopia is really good about having um, just entertainment and nightlife in general, especially with their um, traditional dance houses and things like that. Um, but I was thinking, you know, what about doing something like that during the daytime? Because most of those traditional dance houses um, are open in the evenings. So idea number three is like a breakfast or brunch restaurant that has live music, open mic, you know, things like that um, during the day or morning. You know, it could be weekends or it could be, you know, you choose the days and how it would work. But um, I think that that would really do well here. Um, you know, as the culture is shifting and modernizing and, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of a fun activity to do. And then it would also give people an opportunity with, um, you know, musical talents or who do poetry or something like that to come and showcase their talents or promote their talents. Like if they are, you know, um, if they write music or write poetry or something like that and they want to, they want people to hear about them and see them, that is a good way to do it. Um, and then they can be a regular at your place, at your restaurant or lounge or whatever it is. And, um, you know, you kind of have like a regular rotation of people who come in and do their stuff. So I, I think that that would be a good business. Obviously, um, it is also a restaurant business. So um, you would need to decide like what kind of food you want to have there. I, I suggested like making it a brunch thing. Um, so yeah, you can work out the menu. But I think that would be a really great business. Business number four. So business number four is a simple one. It can also be a chain or franchise, or it can just be one location. But I was thinking about maybe the sip and paint idea that exists in the US. If I can, I'll insert um, some pictures or video, what I mean. Um, so basically, like friends can go out together and they sit and they, eat, get, they each get a canvas and everybody has to paint the same picture. Um, 
and it's kind of fun because like not everybody's really good at art and some people are um, and while you're while you're there you can um, serve drinks you know at this establishment and maybe some light um, hors d'oeuvres like snacks stuff like that I think that would be really good obviously sip and paint is I think traditionally wine but since this is Ethiopia you can um, put your own spin on it and also serve you know coffee drinks um, maybe tea as well since coffee is a very big part of the culture here um, so yeah that I think would do really well and it's just kind of um, increasing the social life here in Ethiopia um, for things that people can do all right number five kids activities so um, as an international blogger youtuber whatever who lives in Ethiopia with three children that is a question a common question that i get a lot you know what is there to do in ethiopia for kids and while there are things to do here for kids like um, going to unity park or the friendship park phase two playground um, movie theaters indoor playgrounds um, once you've done them it kind of gets old fast sorry guys <laughs> um, you know it's like what else is there and there's really not that much else and I do think this is an opportunity for business that people um, who can start like maybe a trampoline park. I've only seen about two trampoline parks in Addis. One is at Intoto Mountain. Um, the other one is in Gas Entertainment Mall. And it, it's only actually available to kids who are nine and up, I think. Um, so smaller kids don't even have an opportunity to use it, which is unfortunate. But I think it would be um, a really cool option if you could do a trampoline park for kids um, and just include like, you know, different activities in there. Another idea um, is an indoor playground, which, like I said, there are indoor playgrounds in Ethiopia, but they are few and far between. You know, um, there aren't that many of them. And especially like if you don't live in the areas where you can find them, like maybe Bole, Summit, CMC, like you're not going to want to travel across town. All the time to take your kids to the indoor playground so i think there's a lot more opportunities um, there as well another idea which i have never seen in ethiopia so correct me if i'm wrong but laser tag is really fun especially for teens and young adults um, it's a really cool activity and you know something that i don't believe exists here and you can bring the first one um, other stuff is like roller skating rink bowling alley and yes i have seen one roller skating rink and one bowling alley um but even if there's two like <laughs> there's still room for more especially if you're going to do it as a franchise and, and i know like in the u.s there's cosmic bowling and like um certain special skate nights and stuff like that like you can make it unique um and also not only okay sorry guys <laughs> Um, so yeah, what I was saying is, you know, you can make it unique. And also, um, another thing that these kids' activities would really be great for is birthday parties. So I, a lot of people, what they do here for birthdays is just have people over to their house and they cook food, you know, dorowat and um, kineto. You know, they have like the, the traditional Ethiopian birthday party, which is perfectly fine. And I hope people still continue to do that. But also, you know, um, you know, my kids and maybe other kids who are from outside of Ethiopia are used to like having birthday parties, inviting friends somewhere to a place to enjoy and have fun. So these kind of kids activity places, you can host birthday parties. I would say, you know, do your best to make it affordable as well, um, because I know one specific place, I won't name them, <laughs> but they do birthday parties. And it's so expensive. They're like for 30 people, it's 75,000 burr. I'm like, excuse me, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's fair, but it just it felt like a lot to me. Um, so yeah, just if you can do birthday parties and also like have these kids activities running regularly, I think it would do very well. Next business idea I have here, youth sports clubs. So um, one thing I haven't really noticed here and it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, I just haven't really seen it frequently, are sports clubs for kids. So um, in the US, maybe outside, I've seen like you can join um, a soccer club, basketball club, football, 
like American football, flag football, um, tennis, golf, like different sports that are organized. Um, there's a team, you have to pay like a fee to join and then you get a uniform and there's certain games, certain amount of games every season. So, you know, you'll have the spring season, fall season. You know, we don't really have those kind of seasons here. It's pretty much just like rainy season and dry season. But like during the dry season, you can run a couple sessions, you know, um, with teams. And I think it would be really cool for the kids to get involved in like team sports, club sports in Ethiopia, because um, sports are a big thing here, you know, especially Ethiop like um, football, which is we what we call soccer. Um, it's a big thing. And I think if you could find a way to organize a league, um, I think you'd get a lot of people and parents interested, involved to get getting their kids into um, team sports activities. Because the schools, most schools don't offer like sports teams activities. So that's another business idea I think you could do. The and it would last, be really well. the seventh business idea that I have is um, fitness uh, clubs or fitness places for adults. And so I'm not just talking about a gym. What's that on my face? Um, <laughs> I'm not just talking about like a gym because there are gyms here and there are plenty of them. But what I'm thinking is something along the lines of like different styles of exercise. For example, stationary bikes um, as a group workout. Like there's a thing in the U.S. called Soul Cycle, um, and just kind of like having that there and allowing people to come, kind of work out together, motivate each other, push each other to do well. Um, another thing that you could do is Zumba. So if you never heard of Zumba before, it's dance exercise. And so um, you can do that as a group, host it as a class, um, several days a week or something like that. You can also offer it in a gym, you know, if they're open to having classes. Um, you can say, hey, I run this class. I'm a Zumba instructor. I'm a um, cycle instructor, instructor or whatever it is. And then um, ask you know can i host my class in your gym several days a week and you know it's kind of separate from the gym but maybe you'd have to pay a fee um to hold your classes there and then obviously you would charge your uh clients or the people who come to participate so um yeah i think those are really good business ideas easy to start and would be highly profitable here in ethiopia if you guys um, have other ideas Go ahead and um, drop them down below in the comments so we can kind of all help each other, encourage each other to um, make it, you know. Stepping out of your comfort zone and becoming an entrepreneur is not easy. And so I think the more support we have, the better. And um, yeah, so definitely comment down below if you have new ideas or if you like these ideas, let me know for sure. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope this was helpful and enjoyable and um good luck to you guys see ya bye